Okay, obviously you can see that I've already started it. Um, this is the line, the poly line that I was on about earlier on, taking that right down to bare metal. Uh, a few other fisty bits on the side here that was being done. Uh, around here as well, that was all coming away as well. Along the bottom here, a little bit of rust. Uh, so that's come down to bare metal as well. I think there's, another, there's a little bit down here you probably won't, you won't see it with the camera. There's a few bits that look maybe it's been filled in before. I want you to try and maybe make that look a bit better as well before priming it. Um, come here, I don't know if you can see that there. That's the damage down here where he's run into it with his lawn more. I don't know if you can see it there. There's a big crease there. Most of the paint split there. I need to try and get in behind there and bash it out. Uh, this side. Same at this side. You can actually see there, hopefully, when the camera picks it up, that's... You can, you can hear it. Start to bubble there. Paint's not adhesing to the surface. And it's the same along this body line. And this, this side was worse. This was a bad. This is bad for Russ here. So I'll have to get in about and treat that. Dent here. Get that wee repair. Um along the front of the car we can see where the other bit of damage is. I don't think it's, don't think it's dented. I think it's just the paint has come off as such. Uh, I don't think that would be a bad repair. That would be a, a wee rub down. A bit of primer and away we go. Uh, but yeah, that's the, that's the Beetle. That's what we're working on us now. I'll video the process along the way and yeah, I'll see how it goes. All right. Okay, so I've gotten this quarter panel stripped of the paint. Uh, to do that, I just used these Scotch Bright discs. Um, they're quite good. They're not too savage on the metal. Uh, they take off the paint, and they're not too abrasive to take loads of material off. Um, and I ran out of them, and then I moved to like the, the little flat discs, little emery flat discs. They're uh, they're a little bit more. Got to watch what you're doing with them, but I was kind of just careful, and I'll put, I'll go across that again with 80. I'll fluff the whole quarter with a bit bit of A before primer. Um, obviously, with old cars, you start to undig. Other things like big slab of body filler there, as you can see. It's quite deep. The camera can pick that up, but it's quite deep. I don't know if it's been. It might have been bashed. Might have had an accident at some point. Uh, I'm not going to get too involved with that, to be honest. I'm just going to. Probably there's a little bit of a fifty bit in there. But something's. I'll, maybe, I'll dig that out and make sure that. The surface on these is, is, is alright. Then I'm just going to fill them up and then put a skim across that. I'll just skim across that and rub it down. And then I'll be ready for some primer, the zinc primer, and then I'll high, high build it. Um, and uh, this, I'm way going, now I'm way going to repair this dent I spoke about before. I'm not sure the camera will be able to pick that up. But it's just right there. Bonk. So that's the next thing. Get the dollies out, and hammers, and see what I can make of that. Okay. Right, okay, so I've given that a bit of a dolly out. Ah, I have no idea, the camera will be picking that up. This is the GoPro I'm using. Well, that's all I've got to be honest. I think it's a Hero 3. Um, it's come out. It's probably a bit too high now, but I wanna, I'll, I'll find out when I put the filler in and start rubbing it down. Obviously, I'll start to see some high bits coming through and, and I'll be able to judge. So we'll just take it as it comes. I'll uh, go and take the paint back off now. And take the paint off and get ready for filler.
Right, okay. I think the repair on this quarter is pretty much done. Um, I skimmed across that with some stopper or uh, fine filler, body filler, and then rubbed that down uh, with 180. Um, uh, there is a few pinholes still in, in it here and there, but I think the primer should fill them up. So next, what I'm going to do is gonna blend this from the bare metal onto the paint. Blend that so that's a bit of blend for the primer. Probably do the same around the back here in this prepare. And same again around here. This quarter, can I just fade all this out? A bit of 180 again, maybe 320 as it kind of fades out. And then we'll get that uh, zinc primed all over and high build primer after that. And there will obviously be the a uh, real excitement, exciting, exciting job of masking up before any of that. So yeah, you'll see that. So we'll crack on. Okay, so I think that's us ready to give it a blow down and then we'll get the panel wipe out. We'll give it a quick panel wipe and then we can uh, get ready for masking it up. I've just went and went around the car and got little bits here and there that were even sanded down like deep scratches and bits of paint that was coming off and there's a few bits in the back valance there. I don't need to sand it down, a few bits in the other quarter. In the front of the quarter here, there's need a wee bit of touch up here and there. Um, but I think there'll probably be other bits that I'll find as I'm masking up or something, but I think we're good to go. I'll now, uh, probably, I'm going to give it a blow down, panel wipe, and then I will get the Q rust out and give these a are going over with the Q-Rust along the bottom, see both sides where the little like rusty bits are. Try and try and get that ready for for uh, some primer and uh, yeah, and throw some primer on it. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna have a bit of a clean up because as you can see, it's a bit of a pigsty, so 
get that done first and then we'll get the Q-Rust on. So I've got my Q-Rust in my cup and my brush and I'll just go and put on a thin coat on either side. Let's say along the bottom of the window, the quarter window here where it's a little bit fishy looking. Uh, this side and the other side and let that dry, let it go black. Um, and then maybe you have to apply some more, I'm not sure, we'll go with the flow. And uh, yeah, let's get on.